Good morning and welcome to the chat on Newsday Amarillo and News Channel 10 2. I'm David Lovejoy. Hello, I'm Rhonda Lonert. And I'm still Chuckalicious Chuck Williams. And join us from BSA Hospice of the Southwest, Trent Tanaro. Uh, he's here to talk about an upcoming event uh, that they look at in this month of October. Trent, welcome to the show. How are you doing today? Doing good. Thank you for having us. Trent, let me ask you this. Tell me, just what is the Rose Memorial all about? Give me some of the insights into this. Sure. The Rose Memorial is a yearly annual service we have that honors our patients that have gone on and passed on before us uh, over the past year. We don't mention any names. We just take time to invite the families and the community. You don't have to have a family that's been in our hospice to, to come and attend a time to reflect and remember them. As part of that trend, it's also spiritual care month. Uh, explain a little bit about what this month is and what, 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 how you guys acknowledge it. Yes. It's a, it's a in the month of October, every year is spiritual care appreciation month is where we appreciate this, take time to recognize and honor those who provide spiritual care in our communities and among our staff and our team and provide spiritual care for our patients and their families. And so how many, how many years have you had this tradition? The tradition of the Rose Memorial has been going on ever since, I want to say the 1960s, maybe even wow. more. Yes, of Sister Olivia, who was instrumental in getting uh, our, our type of hospice over this way in the Amarillo area, started it many years ago. You know, uh, at one time we used to have a gentleman here in town, Father Tash, and it seemed like, and he was, at the time, he was down at uh, oh, St. Anthony's. It seemed like in this case, this is like a up nothing but an extenuation of what he did in doing the groundwork for organizations like this. Yes, it's a continuation of honoring that kind of thing and the kind of care we provide of those who give the spiritual care or as a team effort. Yeah. Trent, Trent, what goes on during this Rose Memorial service? Yes, it's a it's a, about a 45 minutes to an hour service and various readings and it's kind of a liturgical in nature. And there's some prayers and some light music. It just gives uh, patients and our staff as well, everybody, time to, patients, families, time to reflect uh, and think about those that have gone on. So, uh, tri tri why is it necessary and why is it an important part of the grief processing, the process of grieving, that we sometimes take a pause, take a moment, and acknowledge it? Some people would say, you're picking at an old woman. Right. Let it go. Let it go. But, but until you really make peace with it and sit down and understand the whole concept of that grief, it, it really is a, a fool's errand. We we have to kind of sit and face and and acknowledge the grief that has come into our life, don't we? Yeah, it's taking time to sit with it and be aware of how it's affecting your life and even those around you that you love, who are also on the, in the same experience with you. So it's really a, a healing experience, yeah. And it's it's part of the journey, uh, you know. If you have lost someone, and it doesn't really matter. I'm gathering, uh, you know, if you're whatever faith you identify right. with, you you can be a part of this. Yes, it's it's for people of all faiths, all walks of life. There may not be a faith or a religion involved. We just provide care and this services to think about and honor those of all walks of life, all journeys. Well, this is... A, that's what we do. It seems, it, it seems to me, and maybe I'm wrong here, this is almost like hospice for the living. I mean, if you have somebody who is so far gone, if you will, uh, this can be a chance of remembrance of better times while they're still here. Yes, yes. As you anticipate that grief coming, right. it's a time to stop and reflect. Oh, yes. You can have someone still here and their life changing rapidly. Right. And this service is, oh, yes. So are there, you know, if, you, if you're if you just kind of, you know, you've been thrust into the situation and you are grieving, but you, you want to show up to this, do you have resources for those people that are unfamiliar with what you guys provide? 
yes, we'll have resources and they can come in and tend and talk with any of us. We'll be there greeting them. Our bereavement services are available to, of course, our patients, families, and but also for those in the community as well. We offer that. Uh, Trent, in your role with BSA Hospice of the Southwest, that, that sometimes we don't put this into the equation. It, it's got to be stressful in that career. It's got to pull at your heartstrings when you see a family go through this uh, and, and, and you see loved ones come and go, and even on your staff. Uh, why is it so important for all, even the employees there at the hospice kind of have an understanding and an insight into a higher power, uh, us putting faith into a source that uh, can help get you through these burdens sometimes, these stressful times. How does this program work with the people who work within the program at BSA Hospice? Yes, we have uh, something we call, of course, like you said, staff care, preparing for our staff. And that's a big part of my job and our bereavement coordinator as well. And we all work together and sharing stories. We, we uh, kind of encourage each other to process and be aware of our own grief stories as right. well as we go with others and that's Trent, t t tell us when this event is who can attend and uh, the times and the dates for this sure. it's a uh, this coming sunday october 15th at two o'clock in the afternoon at pray amarillo church that is at 4000 southwest 50th street the pray amarillo church and everybody is welcome in the community and of course the families that have patients we've had over the past year but it's open to the community as a whole and as you said before it can be someone it can be uh, somebody who has hospice care going on in their family now or they're not even in hospice care they're just dealing with this type of thing it is a, a part of life but i we've said this before uh, i don't think a lot of people have been taught how to deal with grief and, and exactly. how to take it on found it it's just something we we tend to let a person go to their own demises but it doesn't have to be that way there's people out there uh life goes on and you could still be a part of it when you lose a loved one it, it could be a devastating thing but bsa hospital of the southwest they do what they do to help this transition to help you deal with the grieving issue and to also let you know time to do get better to be a part of the rose memorial ceremony you can go to bsa hospice on their website check out more information uh it takes place this sunday uh it's the spiritual care month and the rose memorial service brought to you by bsa hospice of the southwest trent thank you for your time this morning we really appreciate this information it's an honor to be on here thank you all appreciate you have a great day all right, that's going to wrap it up for us today here on the chat. I hope you have a great and safe day. Be careful out there because we want you right back here bright and early tomorrow morning. Two rules. Be kind, be careful. We'll see you then on the chat.